Once upon a time, water, gas, and electric meter readers had no choice but to physically read the meters of their customers. Today, many rely on eTron's ERT protocol, known as Encoder Receiver Transmitter, which transmits their usage over the ISM band. These signals are modulated using OOK, on-off keying in Manchester encoding, and frequency hops across the band to prevent meters from interfering with the transmissions of other meters nearby. There are a few different packet types, but today we'll be focusing on the SCM packet, known as the Standard Consumption Message, which contains the total consumption for a given meter. This packet primarily contains the ID of the meter, the total consumption of the meter, and the tamper evident flags as well as a CRC check. Thanks to GitHub user bmasher, we have RTL AMR, which allows us to decode these SCM or standard consumption messages from ERT meters. The software takes advantage of RTL TCP rather than communicating with the RTL SDR itself directly. This provides an interesting avenue for us as the RTL SDR blog driver on Android is actually an RTL TCP server itself. Thus, I decided to compile the RTL AMR application with Go under Android using the userland chroot application. I then wrote a simple script that allows us to start the application in userland and pipe its output over the network via UDP. From there, I wrote a simple Android application that allows us to visualize this data as it comes into our Android device, allowing us to have a handheld, portable ERT decoder powered by RTL AMR. If you're interested in setting this up on your own Android device, please stay tuned to the end of the video as I will go over exactly how to set up everything from installation to use. All right, so you wanna get this running on your phone. So let's go ahead and get it set up. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get an on-the-go cable and plug the RTL SDR into your phone. And then it might be different uh, depending on your Android device, but in settings under system for mine, there is an option called OTG storage. You do need to enable this in order for the RTL SDR to be um, recognized by your Android device. From there, we're gonna run the RTL SDR blog software. Um, on our Android device, and this is what's going to be used as the RTL TCP server. And you'll see that we're changing the port to port 1234, and that's because that is the port used by default for RTL AMR. So setting this port here first makes things a little bit easier as we go through the setup process. Now that we have that taken care of, let's start the user land application and we're gonna select Ubuntu here. This is how we are going to create our chroot environment in order to download um, Go and compile the RTL AMR software. So the first thing we need to do is download this script um, for installation off of my GitHub. So I'll leave links in the description for uh, exactly how to do this. But if you watch in the video here, we're gonna go ahead and w get this file, and that's gonna download the installation and compiling script for us. And of course, once that is downloaded, we need to do chmod plus x and the name of the script, so that way the script is executable. And we will then run the script. This is gonna go ahead and do an apt-get update. It will download the Go language compiler, and then it's going to uh, git clone RTL AMR, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually compile that in Go, uh, all here in user land with this script. And then finally, once all of that is done, it's gonna go ahead and start up the RTL AMR software with my script, and it should make a connection to the RTL TCP software running on the device. And you'll notice when we first run this here, we just get a blank screen. If you have an instance where the script executes and then instantly closes, that is because the blog driver has either stopped or the TCP server has shut down. And you can see in this case, that's exactly what happened. So all we need to do is hit the start stream button again to get RTL TCP running. And then we'll switch back over to user land to start up our script. And that should make our connection. And 
And now that we have a successful connection made, all we have to do is run the actual application itself. And I have that installed in my dev folder here, but you will be able to get a copy from the um, releases section of my GitHub. And uh, really that is all there is to it. Now the RTL AMR application is running and you can see we have live data being outputted directly to the Android screen itself. And it's in a nice scroll view so we don't have to worry about um, dealing solely in a command line terminal. If you found this interesting or you would like to have um, some more information or learn more about software defined radio in general, please be sure to like, subscribe, and of course I will see you all in the next one. Bye!